it's way too early in the morning. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up? Good to see you there. So fun fact, I'm not a morning person. Another fun fact is, did you know that Collision started in 2008 with a student who saw brokenness within her school and she had to do something about it? Over the last 16 years, Collision established a presence in 22 plus schools in Sioux Falls and the surrounding area. And we see thousands of students turned their hearts to God. Now, I gotta finish making breakfast, but by the next time you see me, I'll be looking fresh. Let's get it. Fast forward to 2020, when God gave a vision to John Glasser as he lay in a hospital bed fighting for his life. The vision was horses and young riders with torches riding across the country to share the gospel. Since then, Collision has started to expand nationally first to Dallas, then to Omaha, picking up partnerships with churches in several cities along the way. Doors are opening left and right for Collision to come alongside churches to equip students to be gospel sharing disciple makers until all 32 million middle and high school students in the US hear the good news of the gospel. So question, would you join me as we film this travel vlog to hear and see what the Lord is doing through Collision? Now, it's not like you have a choice. I mean, you're sitting there and you're already watching this video. We have three stops to make. First to Watertown, then to Omaha, fly to Houston, then back home. So let's go. About this time last year, we probably had 15 or so students who were really committed to sharing the gospel. and. Um, making disciples uh, and so in that throughout the spring we probably got to 20 or 25 students just as a few more had joined um, and just wanted to go really deep in the summer and see what happens in the next school year and as we got to the school year we didn't really know what was going to happen and the students were kind of like well God we want you to move in our school uh, we're just having faith so we're going to give you our yes when they did that um, we just saw it blow up massively we saw right away like 80 or so kids just get plugged in right out the gates when these kids started stepping out and sharing the gospel. And they got plugged into discipleship making groups where they're learning more about Jesus and different teams too. And so right now we're probably at about 120 students who are committed in weekly accountability groups. If we're only caring about what's in our backyard, are we truly seeing Jesus correctly and rightly? He is a God who wants to and desires to see all nations come unto knowing Him and loving Him. And so I would just invite you, yes, care about what's happening in your own community, be invested, but also ask God to burn your heart for what's going on across the nation. So we are officially on the road to see our man Carson, who is out in Omaha, working for Collision, working with churches, working with students. We just got here to Omaha. We're hanging out with the one, the only. Come on now. Carson. Come on now. What's happening, man? Tell me what's up. Uh, it's raining. It's never like this. We're gonna go into Christ Community Church. This is one of our new church partners. We're gonna talk with Brittany. Uh, Brittany's been our church coordinator here. She's been killing it. Let's get it. You got started with Collision a few months ago, actually, when Carson reached out uh, seeking partnerships, and it just aligned really well with where the trajectory of where we wanted to take our youth ministry, some of the values that uh, we were seeking to fulfill as far as like evangelism and challenging our students. One of the cool things that Collision offers is just the challenge that they present to our students who want to take that next step to share their faith and grow in it. And since we have that team, now it's kind of become this core group of students that we can focus on really investing into evangelism and um, encouraging them to share that with their friends but then also the other students in youth ministry they get to kind of become this um, like model yeah we're excited for the momentum that it's gonna create and just the hunger and more students as they see like they hear the stories from the current group that we have and it spurs others on to join just the growth that it's gonna create in the students that are currently in there the leadership opportunity the the ministry opportunity that it gives them. So we just got done uh, meeting with Brittany, the church coordinator at Christ Community Church. Uh, we are now headed to go see Pastor Tommy at First Christian Church out in Council Bluffs. That's part of the Omaha Metro. Uh, so we're gonna go meet with him and, and see what's up there. I felt really through conversations that I've had with Collision that it is something that is super needed in our schools. I think kids come to youth group to have fun, but then go to their schools. They're this super dark place and 
they don't live a changed life there. And I think Collision really scratches that itch of we need to train students and equip students to bring the light of the world in the dark places of their school. And so that is why I feel like I am loving this drive that Collision is having nationally. I love to hear about stories all the way from Sioux Falls down to Texas and super awesome to hear about everything that Collision is doing and I'm grateful to be a part of that organization. So after meeting with the youth pastor, Tommy, Carson and I drove to another location to sit down to hear more about his heart for Omaha. We have over 2,000 churches here in Omaha and that is the body of Christ. And as the body of Christ, we want to uh, build up the body of Christ. And so instead of coming in as another ministry, instead of coming in and trying to build more on top of the 2,000, we are going into the 2,000 and building up and raising up the 112,000 students that are already in the Omaha Metro, equipping them and empowering them uh, to grow the church from the inside out. The Bride of Christ, the church, has been alive and active for over 2,000 years. Longevity will fail if we neglect the Bride of Christ. So we need to build up within the churches this heart and this passion for evangelism and discipleship and just step into that and grow that because it's not collision that needs to be known, it's Jesus that needs to reign within this nation. Right now I'm currently waiting for John to come um, pick me up to head to the airport. And on the ride, we're just gonna, we're gonna talk with John. Now, John, I got a question for you, all right? Why am I heading down to Houston? You get to tell the story, an amazing story of a student and a church that we get to partner with and work through. And the amazing part about doing ministry across America is that we're all on the same team. Sioux Falls gets to have an impact in Houston. Houston staff and churches and students get, get to have an impact on us. Let's go to the airport. Let's, Let's get go. it. Let's, Let's go. go. Good morning. Um, I need a lot of caffeine. What is the most shots that you have in something? Oh, wow. Okay, four. That would probably give me a heart attack. That would not be good. Well, I'm looking at the cinnamon cream cold brew. Can that be an alternative milk? Could I get it with coconut milk or almond milk? Could I get some whipped cream to that as well? I know that sounds kind of oxymoronish because I'm lactose intolerant, but I love whipped cream. And any sprinkles would be amazing. Dump some cinnamon powder on it. Could I do the double chocolate muffin? And then maybe some cake bites too. Bobby, do you like caramel? Could you add a straw to the drink too? Here we go. Get some energy. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, those four shots of espresso. Giddy up. John, like, why is it important for us as we grow to, to get connected with more churches? The local church has always been a part of our vision. And in order to reach 32 million students over the next 20 years, which is our heart goal, our faith goal, we have to partner with the local church. There's four local churches for every public, middle, and high school. And I believe in the majority of conversations that I've had that everybody I've talked to, they want to reach students for Christ. They want to get to the goal of reaching every student in their community. So I just landed here in Denver. Now let me tell you what's going on in Houston. See, there's a young student by the name of Addy that got connected with John Glasser. He felt like this was another Bethany Brun story, the student who started Collision in Sioux Falls. So not only did Addy get her church involved with Collision, but she's also starting Collision within her high school to reach those lost kids and disciple believers within her school. So Collision got started in my school. I went through a very long process of talking to multiple teachers and principals and a Muslim teacher ended up letting us use her classroom. We just go every other Wednesday and it's really great. I really want to see my school change by helping others just know Christ because I see so much brokenness in my school. There's 41 homeless students in my school, which is crazy. And I just think that it'd be really cool if they just like came to collision and just experienced the presence of God. Once I train these students, they can make their list of 12 people with the hope of three disciples. And it'll just go throughout the school. So you're, you're building a team, right? Tell me all about your team that you're building here. I met Almu through a dance class at my school. She really just knew of a God. She didn't really know like God himself. She has told me how much of an impact Collision is on her life. 
and how much she's come to Christ through Collision. But she's helping me with the club at my school, Collision, and she's leading it. She's vice president, which is very cool. I think that my church is helping me with it by just being connected with John. John, um, after he had trained me for a while, he wanted to know more about my church, and so I told him about RPC Youth. So how I got involved with Collision is I had a student who had been meeting with uh, this guy named John, mm -hmm. and she started telling me about the things that he was saying and how, Jay, you gotta meet this guy, and so I saw how this meeting uh, has changed her life. And I was thinking to myself, man, I would love to, to know like, where is this coming from? Because Addie switched up uh, a lot of how she was acting and, and just was so on fire for God that I was like, okay, I do have to meet this John guy. I remember meeting John and truly figuring out that this guy is just a brother from another mother. Right, let's go. And I got to know what he was about, his heart, for ministry and just discipleship. I said yes to Collision because everything that John seemed like he was about, and he said that that's what Collision was, was running to do. Their goal and their mission to make disciples and how they exist to make disciples and to make Christ known. That's my goal, that's my mission. I feel like what I believe is embedded deep in Collision's DNA. And what they're trying to do for the world is what I'm trying to do planted here. So weren't those testimonies absolutely amazing? Speaking of amazing, something you didn't see was that Collision is providing digital training to multiple churches in other cities to help them reach the students in their areas. So this is what's happening around the U.S. and this is just the beginning. Will you join us in reaching all 32 million middle and high school students in our nation for Jesus?